discuss according to syllabus that is forms of marriage
कॉपी क्यों निकल दिया है कॉपी वाई यू आर लुकिंग एट कॉपी मैच कर मैं गलत तो नहीं कर रहा दैट इज ए बेड आइडिया एंड आई थिंक नो एयर इन द क्लास पीपल स्टडी एट द सेम टाइम दे आर लुकिंग एट द कॉपी फोकस ऑन द क्लास एंड गुक बैक होम एंड चेक इट बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट क्राइटेरिया फर्स्ट मैरिज बेस्ड ऑन नंबर ऑफ स्पाउस देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मैरिज मोनोगेमी एंड पॉलीगेमी वॉट इज मोनोगेमी It is a marriage between a man and a woman. Triangle stands for male, circle for female. When they are connected by parallel lines, they are married couples. It can also be written like this. नीचे से कनेक्ट कर रहा इफ दे आर कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम एब देन दे आर ब्रदर सिस्टर नीचे से जाएगा तो कपल्स ऊपर से जाएगा तो ब्रदर सिस्टर सो पीपल इन मॉडर्न सोसाइटीज यूजुअली प्रैक्टिस मोनोगेम है वाई पीपल प्रैक्टिस मोनोगेम है because every cultural practice is to fulfill certain needs every cultural practice is a problem solving mechanism so why most of the people in the world practice monogamy because the societies are technologically advanced advanced that's why they don't need human support whatever they require they can be fulfilled by technology if you have technologically backwardness then you need human beings because 
that backwardness in technology can be compensated by human relations. And when we are becoming technologically advanced, you can see our relationship is reduced. This society is a monetized economy. Means they use money as the medium of exchange. When societies are technologically advanced, money is used as medium of exchange. You know, again, relationship is affected. Because you can store money for future purpose. In times of unemployment, in times of health, you can buy help. You can survive unemployment if you have money. So these societies have technology, these societies have monetized economy. Usually these societies are stratified. Means they may be caste-based society or class-based society or any other basis of stratification can be there. And they marry within their own group. For example, in our society, we practice caste endogamy. In Western societies, they practice class endogamy. Middle class marry within middle class. Upper class within upper class. And they do not allow their members to marry more than one spouse at a time. Means, if your husband or marry, if they are dead, then you can marry. So it is observed that if these situations exist in any society, they practice monogamy. You look at your society; all these situations exist. That's why we practice monogamy. ठीक है तो स्टैटिफिकेशन है देन एंडोगैमी है मींस मैरिंग विद इन वन सोन ग्रुप एंड मैरिंग नॉट मोर देन वन पर्सन एट ए टाइम ठीक है Then polygamy. Polygamy means there may be plurality of husband or plurality of wives. First, we can discuss polyandry. It may be an individual question, and it has been asked many times. Write a short note on polyandrous marriage. Write a short note on polyandrous society. So, as a as an individual question, what can be the frame? You just write it.
ठीक है तो दिस इज द फ्रेम फॉर पोलियंड तो पोलियंड मींस प्लूरलिटी ऑफ हस्बैंड the diagram there can be more than one husband that marriage is called polyand many societies in the world practice polyand For example, Khasa in and around Dehradun, Tibetan community in China, Tuda in Nilgiri Hills, Nayar in Kerala, and many communities in Africa. They practice polyandry. there are two types of polyandry one is fraternal polyandry another one is non fraternal polyandry if husbands are brothers that is called fraternal polyandry if husbands are brothers so fraternal polyandry is practiced by all of them except nair among the given examples all people practice fraternal polyandry except nair in case of non fraternal polyandry husbands are not brothers they come from different lineage or different household nair practices non fraternal polyandry nair अलग अलग घर से आएगा दे आर नॉट ब्रदर्स सिंपली इफ हजबेंड सर ब्रदर्स कॉल फैटर्नल इफ दे आर नॉट ब्रदर्स दे आर नॉन फैटर्नल सो नायर प्रैक्टिस नॉन फैटर्नल फॉली हिंदी सो वाई पीपल प्रैक्टिस फॉली हिंदी See, there are different reasons for different people. For example, Khasa and Tibetan community, it is economic pragmatism which is responsible for practicing polyand. <clears throat> In the past, more particularly before independence in India, the area where Khasa had been living. It was not fertile area because they live in hill terrain, so there was no irrigation facility. They did not have access to advanced technology. That's why most of the land where Khasa people living, Tibetans living, were wasteland. They had. huge tract of land but infertile so therefore if every brother would have married individual wives then family will be divided after marriage property will also be divided so in that case the property which will be available to every brother it won't be economically 
kali viable so to face these challenges they married a single wife if there is single wife family will be smaller and there will be no division of family and therefore there will be no division of property and they can survive successfully so that was the reason both in khasa and in tibetan rest means the all women should be married at the same time now tell me if in india look at the sex ratio it is 929 per thousand male that means many male will be unmarried is there anyone in india remaining unmarried it is the most easiest thing that if you do anything or doing nothing you will be getting married because every male is not getting married at the same time samjha na so everything cannot be solved mathematically however among khasa those were economically well off thoda conditions acha hota tha they married more than one wives ek ki jagah do shaadi kar leta tha this form of marriage is called polygynandrous or group marriage hmm those khasa were economically well off paisa maisa thoda thik thak tha they married more than one wives so in this marriage you can see there is plurality of husband as well as plurality of wives that is why this is called polygynandrous and ri bhi hai gyni bhi hai however after independence this area where khasa lived provided with irrigation facilities by the government of india by the state government they have been given high yielding varieties of seeds because of that this area has become fertile productivity of the soil increased nowadays they do not marry single wife they marry individual wives so if you visit this place nearby dehradun which is particularly called chakrata it's a tourist spot they do not marry single sorry they do not practice poly monogamy really you can come to know that some family has married polyandrous form of and why really it is reported because they believed they are the descendants of pandavas in the mahabharat so as a matter of tradition they practice polyandry once in a blue moon that can be reported to so, dekho some compulsion was responsible for polyandry because it was the best solution under the circumstances circumstances change form of marriage change because culture is a problem solving mechanism so when problems do not exist why culture for that particular problem should continue so people do not practice polyandry today kabhi kabhar 10 saal 15 saal 20 saal mein ek report hota hai and they do so because of tradition theek hai 
So that is the case among Khasa and Tibetan. Among Toda, it was religious consideration which was responsible for polyandria. See, Toda were pastoral tribe. I mean, they reared cattle and used milk and milk products for their survival. They usually reared buffalo. That's why locally they are popularly known as buffalo men. So, in Toda community, they had a norm that first female child in any Toda family shall be sacrificed to their tribal deity, Bali Charaditata. So, because, because of that female sacrifice, female sex ratio has been brought down. Both come over Consequently, they adopted polyandry to mismatch male female sex ratio. Haryana may be just a little jar and a good salvado that we polyandry are getting. It was wrongly reported, inflated. I am also from Haryana. तीन चार महीने पहले क्या किया सब स्टेट में ना बढ़ा दिया फीमेल सेक्स फीमेल सेक्स 900 900 कहीं पे कभी कहीं सारे लोग एक स्टेट तो एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो है जिसमें फीमेल ही ज्यादा हुई है फिर एक महीने बाद सारे झूठ था समझा कोई चेंज नहीं हुई है एंड इट इज हार्ड टू बिलीव एनी डेटा पब्लिश बाय बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट हर डेटा को झूठ देता लोग हां सही में जब भी कुछ देते तो मुझे पहला डाउट होता है कहां तक सच है ये डेट गलत है मैंने दोनों रिपोर्ट पढ़ा ना जिस दिन आया था बड़ा बड़ा करके दिया था पूरा फर्स्ट पेज में डेटा के भर दिया किस स्टेट डिस्ट्रिक्ट में कितना फीमेल रियली इट वाज सरप्राइजिंग कि इतना जल्दी कैसे हो गया क्योंकि सिचुएशन हैज नॉट चेंज फिर जिस दिन दिखाया जो गलत डेटा कौन है इतना छोटा दिया था सब डिस्ट्रिक्ट में गलत सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ तो बिकॉज़ ऑफ लेस नंबर ऑफ फीमेल इन दिस सोसाइटी दे एडॉप्टेड पॉलीएंड्री बट आफ्टर नॉट आफ्टर सम टाइम आफ्टर ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट केम टू इंडिया they abolished human sacrifice said 1828 mein aise kuch 1829 mein ab tum kyu ja rahe problem to uska tum kyu ja rahe aise hi karta rahe na so with the abolition of human sacrifice now they have adopted monogamy because female sex ratio has gone up and moreover these tribals have been converted into christianity in christianity there is no human sacrifice and it is also abolished in our country so because of these two measures you know female sex ratio had gone up and they practiced monogamy today one of our students after becoming ips he visited toda people even many young todas do not know they had a practice like this and many todas today they are bureaucrats teachers doctors ek zamana tha jab ye log karte the so come down they live in nilgiri hills it is very close to mysore आज वो लोग ऐसा नहीं रहा नाउ देर एडवांस देन नैर पॉलिटिकल नेसेसिटी वॉज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर पॉली एंड्री अमंग नैर
See, Nile was a warrior tribe. That's why they are always at war with their neighboring communities. And it, it happened when British did not come to India. So then individual tribes had to maintain their territorial integrity. So to maintain territorial integrity, adult Nair male spent most of the time in their life on the frontier. So under these circumstances, they developed non-fraternal polyandry. How it is? See, both Nair boys and girls, with the consent of their household, called Taravad. They enter into matrimonial alliance. Once marriage is solemnized by performing all the rituals, tying Mangal Sutra and all remaining rituals, the whole process is called Thali Gittu Kalanam. Kalanam. The marriage is dissolved. Is that Sadi Uwa? Thali Gittu Kalanam? Marriage is dissolved. Now this Nair female never meet this husband in her life. So what is the use of marriage then? See, with this Kalyanam ceremony, Nair girl attain the status of womanhood. Womanhood. Women ki status usko milta hai. Now she is free from the society. Now she is allowed by the society to have intimate physical relationship with any male in her community other than that ritual husband. And these males are called lovers. Yes. Listen to the whole story. And they are also called visiting husbands. Out of this visiting husband, children can be born. And children are born also. And these visiting husbands take care of the children. And children become adult. Here, Nair woman is allowed to have interaction with up to 12 male in her community. And most of the Breathing husbands are Nambudripad Brahmin, a influential caste Kerala me Nambudripad. They are usually breathing husbands, and these breathing husbands do not come from the same family. They come from different families, and that is why it is called non-fraternal polyandry. Fatherhood does not go to visiting husband. Fatherhood goes to that ritual husband who conducted Thalikutukul Dhanam. When visiting husbands die, Nair woman does not perform any funeral ceremony. But when ritual husbands die, she removes Mangal Sutra and performs other ceremony. So that is Nair form of marriage and it was because of certain circumstances. After British to come to India, all the territories belonging to any tribes came under the British. Now British was responsible for defending their territory. 
and gradually this process has been abolished this practice and now they practice monogamy and today nair is a dominant tribe so a dominant caste in kerala jo sasi tharur jo hai he belongs to nair caste so they had a practice of non fraternal polyandry long back in the history so you can see that under some circumstances people had a practice when circumstances change they had different practice so that shows culture is dynamic it is not static theek hai since there is more than one father one husband so question of fatherhood automatically comes so fatherhood is determined by social norms not by blood jaise ki among khasan tibetan eldest brother is the father even he is not a biological father the norm is eldest brother will be father if he is dead second if second is also dead third and goes on he may not be biological father but he is social father biological father is called genitor A social father is called pater so this practices shows biological father is not important it is social father which is important theek hai among toda there is a ceremony the father who participates in that ceremony is to be father and that ceremony is called bow and arrow ceremony it is voluntary anyone can take part in that ceremony so if youngest brother is participating in the ceremony he will be father among nair it is ritual husband who is the father not the visiting husband or lover theek hai na ye polyandry ho gaya तो अगर पोलियंडस फैमिली आते हैं पोलियंडस मैरिज आता है पोलियंडस सोसाइटी आते हैं तो राइट ऑल दिस थिंग्स दो बार आ चुका है राइट इज शॉर्ट नोट एंड पोलियंडस फैमिली टेन मार्क्स डू राइट ऑल दिस थिंग्स नेक्स्ट जो है पोलीगाइन मैं जब कंक्लूजन सबका देंगे ना उसी से ये भी हो जाएगा पॉलीगाइनी मींस प्लोरिटी ऑफ वाइफ्स This is polygamy.
many African communities practice polygyny. In India, Naga, they practice polygyny. In pre-independent Bengali society, polygamy was a common practice. Pre-independent. Bingo. Then those societies are frequently at war. They practice polygamy. So why most of the African communities practice polygyny? See, these tribals practice intensive agriculture. And they are marginal cultivators. Intensive agriculture means labor-based cultivation, not mechanized farming. And they are marginal cultivators, not big farmers. So therefore, they could not hire laborers from outside family. So if they marry more number of wives, they can they can have more children, and these children can be providing helping hand for family cultivation. And that is why you can see in villages people marry more than one wives. Those are farming communities, it is quite common to them. Why Naga practiced polygyny? It is because of sense of heroism. More wives means great hero. Naga is the only tribe in India who practiced head hunting. Naga tribes raided each other. And at the time of raid, adult members were killed by beheading. And wives of this person were stolen and got married. So if you have hunted more males, you have more wives. So it is a matter of pride. If you have more wives, that means you have killed more people. You know, after beheading these people, they make garland of skull. And it is hung in their coat here. And that gives them a pride. So because of sense of heroism, they practice polygyny. Sometimes in you know UPSC interview question is asked like give examples of head hunting tribe in India. So Naga is the only head head hunting tribe. <coughs> World me or bhi bahut hai. India me ki tribe hai. Then pre-independent Bengal society. <clears throat> Before 1947 in Bengal, polygyny was very common among Brahmin community or Brahmin caste. 
See, there was a practice of hypergamy. It is a practice in which boys come from higher caste and girls come from lower caste. So in pre-Bengal society, sorry, pre-independent Bengali society, lower caste tried to give their daughter in marriage to higher caste, along with huge amount of dowry, because it elevated their social status. And that is why many Brahmins have number of wives. But not all Brahmins. Those are Jamindar Brahmins. And this is locally called Kulin Prutha. And it was so badly practiced that old Brahmin, on the day of his death, getting married to a girl of 8 years old, 10 years old. After independence, polygamy is prohibited for Hindus. So this practice is no longer found there. <clears throat> See, those societies practice, sorry, are frequently at war in the societies mm, there will be less number of male members because male, male members are killed in war. So therefore, every girl does not have opportunity to have individual husband. So therefore, they share husband. So these are the forms of marriage based on number of spouse. Marriage based on rules. First, prescriptive rule. See, these rules are prescribed by the society for their members to follow at the time of marriage. If anyone violates this rule, punishment can be in the form of honor killing also. You know, honor killing is very common in North India, particularly North India, because South India may be Recently, a few months back, there was a case of honor killing in Tamil Nadu. A boy coming from lower caste, eloped with a girl of higher caste. Many Tamil Nadu, sad Chennai, Sabab Chennai. And that boy was killed in daylight. And you know, it was photographed in CCTV camera. Hmm? Few days back, I many not Reported social media reporting. Eastern India में नहीं होती है। देखेगा नहीं। 
हम्म चल नहीं रहे सो प्रिस्क्रिप्टिव रूल समझ में आए ना दिस रूल सर प्रिस्क्राइब बाय द सोसाइटी outside your group it may be caste it may be class it may be village in haryana there was a rule of village exogamy now this rule has been diluted recently by khap panchayat because of shortage of girls in haryana mein rule to aisa hai they are nowadays practicing sister exchange marriage janta hai sister exchange You give your sister to me. I'll. What bully are they? What are they? And during election, you know they. Ask voters. You give me votes. I'll give you why. No election. No, bolta hai. Mera ek driver tha. Uska umar fifty ke aspas ho gaya tha. Uske ghar mein sister nahi tha. Isliye sister exchange kar nahi pa raha tha. Wo bola main apke bete ki saadi karwa dunga. To bolta karo to hari hana se karana hai. हरियाणा से लड़की मिले उसकी तो मिल नहीं रही लड़की तो बोला मैं हिमाचल से लाऊंगा नहीं तो लड़का पचास साल तक शादी से ज्यादा नहीं था अभी तो क्या पता नहीं ऐसे हालत था एक्चुअली दिस प्रॉब्लम एग्जिस्ट इन पोर पीपल हायर कास्ट में दिक्कत नहीं है वहां पे तो काफी डाउडी फरी चलता है गरीब लोगों में कभी ज्यादा है सो प्रिस्क्रिप्टिव रूल्स इनकूड एक्सोगेम एंड एंडोगेम What is exogamy? Marrying outside of your group. So the rule in Hinduism is clan exogamy. Means one must marry outside one's clan because members of a clan are supposed to have descended down from common ancestor. So when they have common ancestry, they are brother and sister. so how brother and sister can marry theek hai there is rule of village exogamy usually a single village is inhabited by a single clan so that's why they should not marry बता ना चलो हम लोग तो सुपरस्टिशियस है साइंटिफिक बेंट ऑफ माइंड नहीं है तो इंडिया में करता है वो लोग क्यों करता जेनेटिक वेरिएशन कैसे है <laughs> in common being close so when close relatives marry each other many hereditary genetic disorders are expressed and you know all genetic diseases are incurable even today even in usa 
genetic diseases cannot be cured. They can be prevented if close relatives are not marrying. And that is the reason why exogamy is a universal rule. USA may be log nahi karta. Tribe log bhi nahi karta. Come endogamy. Endogamy means marrying within one's own group. You should not marry outside the group. So in Hinduism the rule is caste endogamy. Kunli se Bengal mein kunli nahi milate. Kunli milne se kya ho jayega? Manglik sanglik na main idhar hi aake suna. Bengal mein koi nahi ka kunli ka koi sawal hi nahi hai. ये साउथ इंडिया में या नॉर्थ इंडिया में कुंडली की हम जेटी काउंसलिंग शादी से पहले नहीं होती शादी नहीं हुआ काउंसलिंग करा लेगा कुछ कॉमन सेंस तो लगाएगा नहीं मुझे एक चीज बता जेटी काउंसलिंग बिना शादी के कर लेगा <laughs> कुछ तो लॉजिक होनी चाहिए लेट मैरिज हेल्ड फास्ट देन गो फॉर काउंसलिंग कोई रिलेशन ही नहीं है देखो सो रूल इन हिंदुइज्म इज कास्ट इंडोगेम इन वेस्टर्न सोसाइटी क्लास इंडोगेम व्हाट आर द रीजंस सी इट हेल्प्स इन कल्चरल रिटेंशन इफ यू मैरी विद इन योर कास्ट that caste specific practices will be retained because every caste has its own unique practice every caste so if you bring pows from another caste there will be cultural hybridization and in that case bride may not adjust and that may lead to divorce and that is the reason why it is very low intercaste marriage is very low in india and it is just 5 percent even several states are giving lot of incentives to the couple of intercaste marriage for example in uh, rajasthan they are giving 5 lakh rupees if higher caste is marrying lower caste still they are not marrying hmm? because of this reason and you may see people do not practice casteism they are not worried of caste rules and regulation but at the time of marriage they avoid intercaste marriage because of that reason it helps in retention of cultural identity second <clears throat> no endogamy no caste system see if Endogamy is not the rule. Do you think caste system can continue? If people from different caste marrying each other, that will be the beginning of end of caste system. And that is why government is promoting. So it helps in maintenance of stratification in the society. Third, jo hai, that reason is found among tribals. Fear of magic. And I am not talking of white magic. Magic can be divided into white magic and black magic. White magic is for entertainment. That is not anthropological concern black magic is concerned with anthropology it means causing harm the magic which is intended to cause harm called black magic that is a concern of anthropology so tribals believe if 
girls come from different tribe she shall be a notorious magician and she can harm bride and bride's family so because of the fear of magic they do not practice tribal exogamy they always practice tribal endogamy for example karwa a tribe has they live in mirzapur so because of fear of magic they practice tribal endogamy if girls come from different tribes they will be harmed now come to preferential rule hmm koi kuch puch sake so in preferential rule society does not prescribe society prefers its members to follow this rule at the time of marriage in case rules are violated members are not punished they can be ridiculed they can be gossip that is called preferential rule it is expected that you should prefer this rule agar aap nahi bhi kar rahe ho to aapko punishment nahi diya jayega mazak kar liya jayega char log kya kahega and because of this four persons you know people follow many rules in the society char aadmi kya kahega ye batana us char aadmi hai kaun <laughs> सब साउथ में बोलता चार आदमी नहीं बोलता वहां तीन आदमी है क्या सो दिस रूल्स इंक्लूड कजन मैरिज there are two types of cousin marriage ek aapka cross cousin marriage and parallel cousin marriage to pehle cross cousin karte hain ek cross cousin na kafi popular hai popular to nahi kahega kafi common hai maharashtra mein south india mein maharashtra mein kafi log karte hain sabse zyada maharashtra mein hota and that is not practiced among नॉन हिंदूज हिंदूज में होता है क्या बोलता है समीकृत महाराष्ट्र में से आया है और पता नहीं हमें पता है ऑब्जर्व क्यों नहीं करेगा कोई चोरी छुपे थोड़ी करता है खुलेआम करता है ना सोसाइटी एक्सेप्ट जैसे यहाँ पे अगर कोई करेगा ना तो उसको मार देगा उधर नहीं मारते वहां पे पीपुल प्रेफर हरियाणा राजस्थान में तो लोग सोच भी नहीं सकते हमारे उधर भी ऐसे ही है क्रॉस कजन नहीं चलता मैं कोई कजन ही नहीं चलता तो मैरिंग फादर्स सिस्टर्स डॉटर मैरिंग मादर्स ब्रदर्स डॉटर कॉल्ड क्रॉस कजन
either this form can be possible or this form can be possible. So ego means subject, or the person from which you trace the relationship. So ego is marrying father's sister's daughter. So when it occurs on father's side, it is called paternal cross cousin. If it occurs on mother's side, as ego is marrying mother's brother's daughter, this is called maternal cross cousin. <clears throat> so how to write it marriage between offsprings of the different gender of same generation having common ancestry Anna? marriage between offsprings of different gender of the same generation having common ancestry called cross cousin marriage example kya hai people in maharashtra people in south india in india practice cross cousin marriage ab why they practice diksha batana दीक्षा कौन सी स्टेट से है यूपी से उधर तो सब नहीं चलेगा <laughs> तुम बताओ महेश कल्चरल टेंशन हम्म वो तो इवन दे डू नॉट मैरी विथ कजन देन ऑल्सो कल्चरल आइडेंटिटी विद देयर फीलिंग की क्या जरूरत ना इफ यू डू नॉट मैरी योर कजन यू आर गोइंग टू हैव सेम कल्चर ये रीजन तो सही नहीं है और सर नाम में भूल गया और सर नेम चांद नहीं टेल मी यू आर फ्रॉम हुई स्टेट एम पी तब तो उधर नहीं है बताओ क्या कारण हो सकता देखो देर आर थ्री रीजन फर्स्ट जो है कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम जेनरेशन आफ्टर जेनरेशन सी वी हैव रिलेटिव इधर थ्रू ब्लड और थ्रू मैरिज तुम देखो जो भी रिलेटिव है थ्रू मैरिज और थ्रू ब्लड so if relatives are proven to be good they come in times of need they can go for economic help political help or all sort of help you will try to maintain the relationship from generation after generation because relative getting good relatives is very difficult and if they are good you can secure cooperation from them but you cannot secure cooperation from friends if you have good relationship friendship will be there if you are not supporting cooperating friendship will not be there so relationship is an obligation that's why if you have good relatives you are able to secure cooperation in times of need 
And that's why people don't try to, don't leave good relatives. And they try to continue the relationship from generation after generation. Second, this form of marriages reduces incidences of dowry, sorry, divorce. Divorce rate come out here. See, both brides and grooms, they know each other from childhood days. Their families also know each other from long time. So, if there is any maladjustment after marriage, it can be easily sorted out. And that leads to low rate of divorce in this marriage. Because divorce in any society unwelcome, unaccepted. Because after divorce, there is a lot of difficulties for rehabilitation. Even in USA also, it is not a welcome measure. In a traditional society like India, it is very difficult. So in this marriage, divorce rate is low. Hmm? No. Endogamy is the rule. They belong to same caste, but they don't belong to same clan. They say ki, my father clan is different from my mother clan. In the same clan, parallel cousin can be found. When you are marrying father's brother's daughter, that means you are marrying within your own group, within your, it may be clan, it may be lineage. Isili parallel marriage is very rare. It is practiced by but this form of marriage is quite common because there is no involvement of close marriage in terms of society. They come from different clan. Among Gone, it is the return of bride wealth that motivates them for cousin marriage. Kaise? Return of milk or bride wealth. In tribal society, they do not practice dowry. Rather, they practice bride wealth. Means, at the time of marriage, groom's family pay in kind to bride's family. Groom's family pay in kind to bride's family. That is why it is called bride wealth. Dekho. इसको तो चेंज कर देते डायग्राम को सी ओएन So when this person got married, so this is a family. 
This is another family. He gave bride wealth to this family. Anna? Grooms to bride. He is a groom. He is bride. So from his family to this family. When this person will get married, he is paying bride wealth. That means in one generation they have given bride wealth. In another generation, they have taken bride wealth. That is called return of milk. In Hindi, it is called Dud Latwana. That is the reason why Gond practice cross cousin marriage. Gond. It shows people are money minded. Chalo, ek generation mein diya, dusri generation mein aato gaya. And that is the reason why you go and practice cross cousin marriage. return of milk dud lotwana Next, parallel cousin marriage. Marriage between offspring of the same gender and generation having common ancestry.
to marrying father's brother's daughter or marrying mother's sister's daughter called parallel cousin marriage since in this marriage same lineage or same clan is involved that is why most of the societies in the world avoid it but in case of cross cousin marriage same lineage same clan is not involved samjha na examples of parallel cousin marriage is muslim community then pastoral community etc so why they prefer to have this form of marriage so muslim religion was originated in middle east and that was characterized by desert conditions even in the past and today also in desert cultivation is not possible so their main livelihood was pastoralism in pastoralism there is a great threat of cattle raid because cattle are the best form of wealth not even land so that's why people raid each other's cattle and they increase their wealth if cattle is raided from any group they will be at peril they will be extinct where they don't have any other source of livelihood so what happens in pastoral community or happened in muslim community suppose these are two groups group a group b some members of group a are married to some members of group b assume group b has raided group a for stealing cattle so those members of group a married to members of group b they may share their allegiance because of relations their loyalty can be divided in case of divided loyalty their cattle can be taken away so under these conditions they developed a rule that one should marry within one's own group if they are marrying there in their own group there will be no division of loyalty there will be no division of allegiance so at the time of cattle raid they can be united without sharing their loyalty allegiance and they can protect their cattle and that can protect their interest and that is why almost all the pastoral communities in the world they had parallel cousin marriage ठीक है तो दिस इज द रीजन नाउ हाइपर गेम एंड हाइपो गेम सॉरी लिबिडेट एंड सोरोजिट ये सुना है मैरिज that is levirate marrying deceased husband's brother
marrying deceased wife's sister. So this is liberate. This is sorrow. There is no society specific practice. In every society, some families have this form of marriage. And it is a preferential marriage. Means if you prefer well, if you not prefer, no problem. So why they practice? Likna apni jab se, khud se likna, mere sentence mein kyun pada hoga? Express nahi kar pa rahe khud se, to fir tension kis baat ki? To kyun aise dekha? Lekin har saal mein ek do mil jayega. Ya didi tera devar kars kaun sa? Ham apke hai kaun mein hi wala saadi wo tha. Dekha ham apke hai kaun? Yehi to ho raha tha. तो क्यों करते हैं लोग ये सुबी बता ना तो कॉमन सेंस लगा ना उस अच्छा ये हम अब क्या है कौन देखा उसमें ऐसा क्यों करने जा रहे थे देखा उनका तो बच्चा ही नहीं था था हाँ तो बताना तो और अच्छी बात है तो और अच्छी बात है मैं एक्चुअली हम आपके एकदम आधा देख के मैं निकल गया था मुझे अच्छा ही लग रहा था इतना गाना था हर दो मिनट में गाना होता है हैं तो पाल तो बाई भी लेगा <laughs> तो साली से शादी करने की क्या जरूरत है हैं <laughs> तो देखो लिबरेट मैरिज में क्या होता है हेयर ऑल्सो टू कंटिन्यू द रिलेशनशिप सपोज दिस फैमिली एंड दिस फैमिली हैव वेरी गुड टर्म दे हेल्प एट एवरी सिचुएशन सो इफ दिस वुमेन मैरिज आउटसाइड द फैमिली दैट रिलेशनशिप विल बी डिजोल्व एंड रिलेशनशिप is very important in our life because it is relationship which can secure help friendship mein nahi hai friends to barbaad karne ke liye hota hai to isliye na acche relationship hai to log usko continue karna chahta hai second reason jo hai dekho if they have children this married earlier married couple brothers will be more concerned to his own brother children zyada hoga ki nahi outsiders third reason kya hai if this woman marries outside this family then the bride wealth this family has paid must be returned ठीक है समझा ना जो ब्राइड वेल्थ दिस फैमिली हैज गिवन ब्राइड वेल्थ सो इफ दिस वुमेन आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ हर हस्बैंड मैरी आउटसाइड देन दे हैव टू रिटर्न द ब्राइड वेल्थ इन ट्राइबल सोसाइटी दे यूज ऑफ ब्राइड वेल्थ दे डू नॉट सेव इट तो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थ्री रीजन पीपल प्रेफर लिबिरेट इनकेस ऑफ सर द सेम रीजन अप्लाई कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप सिस्टर विल बी मोर कंसर्न टू हर ओन सिस्टर्स चिल्ड्रेन ब्राइड वेल्थ का एप्लीकेबल है नहीं क्योंकि दे हैव पेड ब्राइड वेल्थ ही डजोंट मैरी फॉर दैट रीजन दे शुड नॉट रिटर्न द ब्राइड वेल्थ
ठीक है नाउ हाइपर गेमिन हाइपो गेमिन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाइपर गेमिन लोअर कास्ट ब्राइट फैमिली कम्स फ्रॉम लोअर कास्ट और ग्रूम्स फैमिली बिलोंग टू हायर कास्ट एंड द रीजन इज टू एलिवेट सोशल स्टेटस बिकॉज आफ्टर मैरिज देर विल बी सोशल इंटरेक्शन दे कैन शेयर डाइन दे कैन शेयर स्मोक सो दैट लिफ्ट द सोशल स्टेटस वट इज हाइपोगी जो अनुलोम प्रतिलोम शादी होती है ना नहीं सुना हिंदी में अनुलोम शादी बोलते जिसका नाम है हाइपर गेम प्रतिलोम जो है हाइपो गेम अरे अनुलोम विलोम नहीं है अनुलोम एक शादी होती है दैट इज हाइपर गेम इन केस ऑफ हाइपो गेमी ऑल दो इट इज वेरी रेयर प्रैक्टिस in our society bride belongs to higher caste or grooms belong to lower caste in this case dowry does not exist they don't give dowry rather bride wealth can be expected because girls belong to higher caste and the status of groom is also compromised and that is expressed in their language in their behaviors so this son in law is not respected in their father in law's house they can be abused they can be disrespected so that is it is a very rare practice bahut kam hota hai now rare form of marriage I mean this marriage is rarely practiced bhutiya marriage ghost marriage suna hai bhut ke sath shaadi aisa nahi bhut ke sath shaadi it is practiced in some community in africa when husbands die without any successor and he is influential person economically well off in that case that widow is allowed to have intimate relationship with other male in her community out of the relationship children are born and fatherhood of the children doesn't go to that person in the community it goes to dead husband that is why it is called ghost marriage so kya hoga they will get successor property can be inherited name can be passed on because of that reason they practice ghost marriage bhutiya marriage group marriage means in this rota ki rok rahi hai aise aise sun ke jo ho keh raha hai isme tension lene ki wali koi baat nahi they have their own need and how they can fulfill this need i told yesterday and every class i told that marriage sorry not marriage culture is the problem solving mechanism we create culture to solve problems created by our physical environment and social environment abatana isme agar aise form nahi hoga to uski jo property hogi 
नाम होगा शोहरत होगा कैसे पासन होगी तो दैट इज ए काइंड ऑफ सोल्यूशन ठीक है देखो नेक्स्ट मेल मेल मैरिज और फीमेल फीमेल मैरिज देर इज ए कम्युनिटिकल अजान डे इन अफ्रीका दे प्रैक्टिस मेल मेल मैरिज so in this marriage one male is rich and elder he assumes the role of husband another male is transvestite female coming from very humble background assuming the role of wife actually husband wife these are not biologically constructed terminology these are culturally constructed terminology if you play the role of husband irrespective of your gender you can be husband if you play the role of wife irrespective of your gender you can be wife so what is the role of husband the role of husband is to work outside four walls of household provide economic support to the family giving protection to the families if you are performing these roles you are husband and if you are taking care of household chores caring others working within the four walls of household means you are performing the role of wives so you are wife so this male perform the role of wife and why they assume the role of wife because they come from very humble background they are so poor that they could not even manage their own life how they can marry a girl and this male who performing the role of husband they are bisexual they have their own wife female wife at the same time they have male wife and that is the reason why they allow mil mil marriage theek hai then female female marriage in chain indian every american african community so one female is elderly female economically well off and highly ambitious another female is younger one coming from very poor background this elderly female wants husbandhood which is a superior status they want to enjoy fatherhood and fatherhood is a superior status so how they can become father because both are female so this female is allowed to have physical relationship with other male in the society now children born fatherhood goes to this woman not the male so by doing so 
she attains the status of husbandhood as well as fatherhood. Achha. <clears throat> Left part of forms of marriage. <clears throat> sure. Group marriage. <clears throat> In group marriage, there is involvement of more than one husband and more than one wives. It is like this. It symbolizes male. This is female. मैरिज हम्म वही तो छोटा था ना कल दिस इज कल ग्रुप मैरिज ठीक है इट इज ए रेयर काइंड ऑफ मैरिज वी हैव सीन ग्रुप मैरिज अमोंग खासा इन देहरादून दैट इज पॉली गाइन एंड रस मैरिज इट्स ए काइंड ऑफ ग्रुप मैरिज बट मेनी स्कॉलर्स सजेस्ट दैट ग्रुप मैरिज did not exist in the past hmm? what is their argument <coughs> in group marriage fatherhood is not well demarcated who is the father so if fatherhood is not well demarcated then family cannot come into being so if family cannot be formed due to group marriage society cannot continue so for the continuity of society family is required and family is led by marriage only so therefore it may be an imagination in reality group marriage did not exist but we have seen group marriage in khasa in this society they determine fatherhood based on seniority so it will be wrong to say that group marriage did not exist it might have existed with clear cut fatherhood status but it is true that group marriage is a rare form of marriage <clears throat> now 
then uncle is marriage this it is practiced among some tribal communities in south india This is Uncle Nismaraj. Marrying deceased wife's sister's daughter. That is Uncle Nismaraj. Usually in this community, the sister which is dead, she is the youngest one. And the girl to which this person get married, her age is very close to the age of this deceased wife. So in that case, marriage can take place. And the reason is only continuity of the relationship. It is also a rare kind of marriage. Okay. <clears throat> then adoptive marriage. What is adoptive marriage? It is practiced among some communities in Taiwan. Japan, what they do, <clears throat> they adopt their, they adopt sons and daughters along with their own children. When both adopted children and own children attain marriageable age, they are getting married. The reason is no one should leave the home. If it is a daughter, she has to leave the home for groom's house. But in this marriage, all will be staying together. Then man-animal marriage. Respect is among Bantu. Hmm? Kya, kya batao? Repeat, kya samjai bata na? Isme aisa kaun sa rocket science hai? Jo samaj nahi paya. Jo adopted children hai, aur apna children hai, jo bada ho jata hai, saadhi karwa deta hai. Kisi ko ghar chunne ki zorat nahi hai. सब साथ साथ रहेगा हम साथ साथ हैं ताइवान में होता है जापान में होता अब मैन एनिमल मैरिज बंतु अफ्रीका के एक ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी सो इट इज ए रिचुअल 
marriage. What happens? They are tribal people, so they practice bridehood. They do not practice dowry. Only 8% of the total societies having dowry as marriage payment. And most of the societies in the world, they practice bridehood. So dowry is in India, mein hota hai, South Europe, mein hota hai. China, mein kuch log karta hai. Jatalog bride wealth, they practice. So when a Bantu family, suppose this is a Bantu family, this is another Bantu family, this is another Bantu family. Family one, family two, family three. When they give their daughter in marriage, they get bride wealth in the form of cattle. These cattle are considered to be divine cattle. They have a divinity. So for the, for the sake of divine grace, they get married to this cattle first. Then they give this cattle as bride wealth to some other group. Then they get wife. So that is the man animal marriage. So they marry these cattle for the sake of divinity. Then they give this cattle as a bridal to some other Bantu family. And they get wives in return. So this is a ritual marriage. They say in our society, those are Mangli. They are supposed to marry animals, plant first. Then they should marry human beings. Just like a film tha. Welcome to Sajjanpur. Look at that. Usme ek lady ka jawar dosi kutte se saadi karwa deta hai. Fir abhi ek cinema hai tha Filori. Usme plan ke saath saadi karwa deta hai. So these are ritual marriages. Just ye Ashya Rai ki bhi saadi hui hai. Kisi pair ke saath. फिर अभी से एक बच्चा सुनने आए पेड़ मर गए एफएम वाले ने कह रहा था एफएम रेडियो ये सवाल किसी ने ना पूछ लिया अभी से एक बच्चन को इधर गुस्से में लाल हो गया जैसे कह भी उधर सवाल करता सो दिस अब द Different forms of marriage. 